हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे टॉपिक हाउ एक्सपेंसिव इज अवर मार्केट्स आई एम डॉक्टर भरत चंद्रा पर्पज ऑफ द वीडियो इज फाइनेंशियल एजुकेशन ऑफ सोसायटी निफ्टी रिसेंटली टच द ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजंड मार्क हाउ एवर ड्यू टू सम ग्लोबल फैक्टर्स इट इज करेंटली अराउंड थ्री टू फोर परसेंट बिलो दल टाइम हाई द लास्ट markets have almost rallied continuously and it has beaten almost all the large global indices video because over the past few weeks many channel members have been asking about whether markets are overvalued or not so there has been discussion reports on whether indian markets are overvalued or not although the p ratio of the nifty 50 index seems to be high but not at extreme levels the valuation of mid cap and small cap index are much higher in april 2021 nsc started taking into consideration that consolidated profits of companies means subsidiaries included for calculation of p ratio before this, nsc used to use only the profits on a stand alone basis and not subsidiary this is why the p ratio as of april 2021 has fallen in comparison to the previous month however if we compare the p ratios after that we will get some idea on the valuation of nifty 50 index p ratio of nifty 50 index at various times april 2021 p ratio of nifty 50 index 32.73 august 2021 26.11 April 2022 22.7 August 2022 21.2 April 2023 20.7 August 2023 22.43 April 2024 23 and August 2024 22.44 The P ratio has not increased too much in spite of increase in markets since the profits of nifty 50 companies have broadly gone up over the last few years however there is limited historical data for mid cap and small index but the data of at least 2 years shows that they are trading at much higher valuation than 1 and 2 years average p ratio of mid and small cap companies one year average nifty mid cap 100 index 29.38 Nifty small cap 250 index 27.26 two year average nifty mid cap 100 index 26.48 nifty small cap 250 index 23.22 current nifty mid cap 100 index 43.2 nifty small cap 250 index 30.7 so if and when there is some bigger correction it will be felt more in mid and small caps compared to large caps because of their higher valuation many times the money received by large investors from selling mid and small cap stocks just flow to large cap stocks this is what happened in the previous mid and small cap corrections between 2018 and 2020 in period 2018 and 20 large cap stocks kept rising gradually while there was significant correction in mid and small cap indices observe the graphs of different indices it will be good learning and how markets behave when the valuations are high long term investors who have a vision of minimum 10 years and who are investing in good stocks or mutual funds will go through plenty of ups and downs there is no need to worry about the fluctuation there is also no need to avoid investing when you think the valuations are high if you are doing sip scp you will invest at all valuations for a long period and your cost or purchase will get averaged out many times data may say that markets are overvalued however it may continue to be overvalued for a very long period during which you may not invest again when the markets have fallen we may be waiting for a particular level which may or may not come and hence you may not take advantage of the low prices too This is why SIP FCP most of the times creates wealth as long as the stocks mutual funds are good and the holding period is at least 10 years people who are too intelligent 
don't usually make much money in stock markets. Ordinary people who have a good system and who have discipline and patience usually beat the intelligent people. You need to decide which category you want to be part of. End of the video, here is the question. At what age did you seriously start investing in stock markets or mutual funds? Type the age in the comment section. In case you are not the member of this channel, this is the time to subscribe, press the bell icon, send the video to all your friends, the video is good, press the like button. Thank you for watching, bye bye, all the best.